Let us pray. Dear Father, you are our God and we worship you. You are the one and only everlasting God who always keeps his promises. We will always trust your word. How majestic is your name in all the earth. Help us to always love and praise you. You are so gracious and love to pour your gifts on us. We thank you for the most precious gift of Jesus, who came to save us so that we would never be separated from you. O oh Lord, what is man that you are mindful of him, that you care for him, and have made him a little lower than heavenly beings? O oh Lord, we can never fully understand you, but through our knowledge of Jesus we can see your glory and know of your love. Lord, help us to share this good news with others and to love you as you love us. Let your name be praised through all the earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, you breathe life into this world and your work of creation is a continuing process, a constant act of care. All that you create is good. Help us, Lord, to appreciate your world and to be good stewards of its resources. We pray for your protection for our safe deliverance from this pandemic, for wisdom for our leaders and scientists, for hope that everyone would believe in your love and care for us and the fact that your work of creation is ongoing as you mould us into the likeness of Jesus as we strive to serve him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Elizabeth, our Queen, for our Prime Minister and our Bishops, Alan and Richard. Bless them in their work and refresh them at rest with their families. Direct them in the ways of justice and peace as they serve your people. May we all honour each other as we seek the common good. We pray for those who are lonely, those in despair with financial worries, and those who have made, been made redundant, redundant and are seeking work. Uphold them in your loving arms and send them the help they need. May friends rally to the lonely. May aid reach the needy and good news come to those waiting for employment. We pray for our economic and economy and pray that those with knowledge and power would bring relief. We give thanks for the work the government is already doing, but we also remember those we know who are suffering stress and anxiety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, we pray for our church family, that you would help us to take care and stay safe and mindful of others. We pray for our children, that they would have fun this holiday time, even though lots of activities are closed to them, and for our young people as they anxiously await their GCSE results. May they get the results they're hoping for to allow them to go to their chosen colleges. We pray for those who are unwell in mind, body or spirit and bring to you Carol, Sally and Morty. We also remember others to us, known to us. Lord, lay your healing hands on all who suffer and restore them to health and happiness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.